Hello everyone, this is from uh, Math 6, Quarter 2, Week 2 na lesson, and it's all about types of proportion. Right, we have three types of proportion. You have direct proportion, inverse proportion, and partitive proportion. Direct proportion um, says that as, as one quantity increases, the other quantity also increases and vice versa. Ibig sabihin yung dalawang um, value, okay, parehong mag-increase or parehong mag-decrease. In inverse proportion, baligtad. As one quantity increases, the other quantity decreases and vice versa. So, ibig sabihin yung one value ay increase yung pangalawang value ay mag-decrease. Pwede rin ang unang value ay mag-decrease, ang pangalawang value ay mag-increase. Yun yung ibig sabihin ng vice versa. Now, partitive from the word part. So, a part or parts of a whole. So, a whole is divided into proportional parts. Alright, now let's start with direct proportion. Example, if six workers can weave 15 baskets, how many baskets can eight workers weave? So, kung ani mga workers, kaya nila ang 15 baskets. E kung 8 workers na, 15 baskets pa rin ba? Diba dadami na yon. So, ito yung ibig sabihin ng direct proportion. Okay? And then, given natin ay 6 workers, 15 baskets. So, 8 workers and baskets kasi hindi pa natin alam, diba? Sa so, solve pa natin. So, since walo na workers, sigurado dadami ang baskets na magagawa. So, ito na yung parehong tataas. Kaya siya direct dahil parehong lalaki ang numbers or tataas yung numbers. Solution natin. Okay. So, since this is a direct proportion, gagamitin natin uh, yung, ano niya, yung ratio. Okay. Which is 6 is to 15 and gamitin natin yung um, fraction form. So, 6 over 15, okay, is equal to 8 over n, okay? Kasi yun yung magpartner, di ba? And then, cross multiplication, we have 6 times n is equal to 8 times 15. So, 6 times n is 6n, and 8 times 15 is 120. Para mawala yung katabi ng n, which is 6, divide natin with 6, Okay. Divide natin with 6. So, 6 over 6 is 1. Wala na yun, di ba? So, cancel na yan. Okay. N na lang ang matira dito. And 120 divided by 6, that is 20. So, ibig sabihin kung 8 workers, 20 baskets na ang magagawa nila. Kasi, mas maraming gumawa. Di ba? Now, sa direct propo ay inverse proportion, uh, pwede rin itong tawagin as indirect proportion. Ha? So, ang ating uh, problem dito is, if 6 workers can weave 15 baskets in 4 days, how long will it take for 8 workers to weave the same 15 baskets? So, given we have, again, 6 workers, gagawin nila ay 15 baskets in 4 days. Okay, kung 8 workers na ang gagawa, kaya lang parehong 15 baskets ang gagawin. Okay, 4 days pa rin ba? O di ba mas, mas lalong bibilis? Dapat uh, liliit yung number of days dyan. So, yun yung isosolve natin. So, we will make it N muna. Okay, so, ibig sabihin nun, ito ay dumame yung number of number of workers natin ay dumame so nag-increase yan pero yung number of days natin ay magdi-decrease dahil mas mabilis nang gawin ng 8 workers ang 15 baskets so ito yung bababa so yun yung ibig sabihin ng inverse proportion yung isang number ay tataas yung pangalawang number yung pangalawang value ay bababa and meron siyang pangatlong factor na hindi nagbabago. So, sa problem na ito, ang hindi nagbabago ay yung 15 baskets. Okay? So, 15 baskets pa rin ang gagawin. Kaya lang, dumami yung workers, eh di mas lalong mabilis na. Diba? So, hindi na to 4 days. Hindi dapat aabot ng 4 days. So, solution natin, baligtad. 
So, imbis na mag 6 over 15 or 6 over 4, kasi ito na yung magpartner, hindi na natin yan gawin as 6 over 4. Diretso mo na yan, times mo na yan. So, 6 times 4 equals 8 times n. Okay? So, 6 times 4 is equal to 24. This is 8n. Para mawala yung 8, divide natin by 8, divide by 8. So, cancel yung 8. So, n therefore is equal to 3. So, ibig sabihin, kung 8 workers ang gagawa ng 15 baskets na ito, 3 days na lang nilang gagawin. So, di ba, bumaba yung number of days, umakyat dito yung number of workers. Yun yung ibig sabihin ng inverse proportion or sometimes called indirect proportion. So, this is division. This is multiplication. Yun yung kaiba ng dalawa. Kasi, 6 over 15, nagde-divide ka niyan eh. Uh, fraction denotes division. So, ang pinakita dito is division. And then, dito, dumiretsyo ka na ng multiplication. So, dito, 6 divided by 15, 6 times 4. Okay? Alright. The next one is partitive proportion. The problem here says, the total weight of Aldrich, Charles, and Ronan is 120 kilograms. Their weights are in the ratio 2 is to 1 is to 3. What is the weight of each boy? So, given natin dito is total weight ng tatlo ay 120 kilograms. At ang ratio is 2 is to 1 is to 3. Ibig sabihin, 2 parts ang para kay Aldrich, 1 part ang para kay Charles, 3 parts ang para kay Ronan. So, paano natin isolve? Okay, solution 1, gamit tayo ng block method. Ano ibig sabihin ng blocks? Block, block method, gamit tayo ng blocks. Um, um, squares or rectangles. Yun yung ibig sabihin ng block. Okay? So, uh, bibilangin natin ilang parts meron. Okay? So, we have the total parts ay 2 plus 1 plus 3 and that is 6 parts kasi 2 parts ang kay Aldrich again, 1 part kay Charles and 3 parts kay Ronan. So, total of 6 parts. So, gawa tayo ng 6 na blocks. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 at ang sabi, yung 6 na parts na ito ay nagtotal ng 120. Diba? So, yung 120, hatiin natin sa 6. So, 120 divided by 6, this is 20. So, bawat parte ay may 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Diba? And then, yan dalawang parts ang para kay Aldrich. Okay? And then, isang part ay para kay Ro Charles. And then, tatlong parts ay para kay Ronan. Sa ibig sabihin, si Aldrich ay 40 kilograms. Si Charles ay 20 kilograms. At si Ronan ay 60 kilograms. Alright? So, yung solution 2 natin, kukuhanin natin ang okay, value ng isang part. So, um, i-ano natin to as N. Okay? So, we will represent the part or one part. Ito yung one part na to with N. So, kung N yan, edi two parts, edi two N. One part, one N. Three parts is three N. So, i-add mo lang yan. So, two N plus one N plus three N and that is one twenty. And, pag i-add mo tong tatlo, okay, dito sa baba ang sagot nyan. So, this is now three 4, ah, 2 plus 1, 3 plus 3, that is 6. So, 6n equals 120. Okay? And then, para mawala yung 6, divide natin by 6, divide by 6, and then cancel. So, n therefore is equal to 20. So, one part is 20. Pareho lang dito. So, one part is 20. So, yung two parts or 2n is 2 times 20. Ba? So, this is now 40 kilograms for Aldrich. Yung one part or n is 20 kilograms. And that is for Charles. And yung three parts is 3 times 20. And that is for, uh, and that is 60 kilograms. And that is for Ronan. Right? Okay, now let's check this example. Cassie bought three ball pens for 50 
pesos. How many ball pens can she buy? For 100 pesos. So, anong klaseng uh, proportion ito? Okay, so, 3 ball pens, 50. E kung 100 na yung pera niya, ididadami yung ball pens na pwede niyang mabili. Diba? So, this is a direct proportion. Okay? So, given we have 3 ball pens, 50 pesos. Okay? So, N ball pen, 100 pesos. Kasi hindi pa natin alam kung ilang ball pens. Diba? So, solution, since this is a direct proportion, okay? So, this will be 3 over 50. Yun ang gamitin natin, ha? So, 3 over 50... Yan, is equal to n over 100 and then cross multiply cross multiply so we have 50 times n is equal to 3 times 100 so this is now 50n equals 300 para mawala yung 50 divided by 50 divided by 50 so ano yung kung ano yung katabi ng n yun yung i-divide natin ha at kung ginawa sa kaliwa gagawin sa kanan so cancel na natin yung 50n is equal to 6 and, sagot natin dito is 6 ball pens. Kasi, 100 pesos na, di ba? Alright. Rain has a total collection of 45 BTS posters and albums in the ratio of 4 is to 1. So, ibig sabihin, 4 parts ang para sa poster, 1 part lang ang para sa album sa so 45 na collection niya. Okay. So, how many of each kind does she have? So, ilan daw ang posters? Ilan ang albums? So, anong klaseng proportion ito? Right. This is a partitive. Kasi, hahatiin mo itong 45 collection into 4 parts at saka 1 part. Hahanapin mo kung ilan ang poster, ilan ang albums. ba? So, divide mo to into parts. So, Let's have the given. We have 45 total collection of posters and albums. And then your ratio is 4 is to 1. Posters to albums. Okay? And then solution. So solution 1, gamit tayo ng, okay, this one. We need, we, we will find the value of 1 part, which is n. So ang ginawa natin dito is tinabihan natin to ng n, diba? 4 parts, kasi n is the part, one part, so four parts, one part, so four, n plus n equals 45, equate natin sa total. Tandaan ha, yung i-equate mo dito yung total. Usually ha, kung anong sinasabi dyan. So, four n plus n is equal to 45. Four n plus n is five. So, dito na yung sagot ng four at saka one n. So, five n equals 45. Para mawala yung five, Divide mo by 5, and then divide mo rin ng 5 dito. ba? Then cancel, and therefore is equal to 9. So, ang sagot natin is 9 um, part, ay 9 in 1 part yan. ba? So, ibig sabihin, yung 1 part dito ay album. So, we have, she has 9 albums, kasi 1 part lang yung sa album. 4 parts ang sa poster. So, 4 times n or 4n. So, that is 4 times 9. So, she has 36 posters, right? And, using block method, okay? Sa block method, bibilangin ko ilang parts, ba? So, 4 plus 1, that is equal to 5 parts. And then, gawa tayo ng limang blocks. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Kasi 5 parts lahat, ba? And then, this is equal to 40 Five. So, dapat i-equate lagi sa total. So, 45. Ang 45 bibilangin natin or i-divide natin sa limang blocks. So, this is now 45 divided by 5 and that is 9. So, 9 bawat isang block. Okay. So, one part which is for the album. Okay. And then, four parts ang para sa Poster. So, meron siyang 9 albums, 36 posters. So, pareho lang. Ba? Pareho lang dito sa kabila. Okay, next problem. Trixie uses 3 cups of water for every pack of instant noodles. 
if she will cook two packs of instant noodles, how many cups of water is needed? So, three cups, one pack. Um, blank cups, N cups, two packs. Yun yun, di ba? So, ang proportion na ito is a direct proportion. Kasi, kung dalawang pack ng noodles ang, gag, ang lulutuin mo, eh, di dapat yung tubig mo, di ba? So, as the number of noodles increases, the number of cups of water dapat nag-increase din. Kaya, direct proportion. So, given natin dito is 3 cups of water, 1 pack of instant noodles. And then, N cups of water, 2 packs of instant noodles. So, solution. So, gawin natin dito, since this is direct proportion, 3 over 1. Yan. And then, N over 2. Diba? And then, cross multiply, you have 1 times N and 3 times 2. Yan. So, mabilis lang to. 1 times N is just N and 3 times 2 is 6. So, kailangan mo ng 6 na cups of water. So, yun yung kailangan ni Trixie pala. 6 na cups of water dahil dalawang instant noodles na ang kanyang lulutuin. Okay, next problem. It takes 3 water pipes, 30 minutes to fill up a swimming pool. If only 2 water pipes are used, how long will it take to fill up the same pool? So, tatlong water pipes, 30 minutes daw para mapuno ang isang swimming pool. Kung dalawang water pipes na lang ang, gaga ang gagamitin, Kaano na daw katagal para mapuno ang pool? So, anong klaseng problem ito or proportion ito? This is an inverse proportion. Kasi, kung tatlong water pipes, 30 minutes. Kung dalawa na lang ang water pipes, edi ba mababagal na yun? Mas, mas matatagalan na. Matatagalan na para mapuno ang swimming pool. Diba? So, baligtaran na yan. So, um, Kumonte yung water pipes, tatagal yung pagpuno ng swimming pool. Diba? So, given natin dito is 3 water pipes, 30 minutes. At anong gagawin ng 3 water pipes in 30 minutes? Pupunoin ang swimming pool. Diba? Kaya lang, kung dalawang water pipes na lang, ilang minutes na lang daw. So, ano yung hindi nagbabago dito? Okay, so yung nagbaba, hindi nagbabago dito ay yung swimming pool. Parehong swimming pool lang ang pupunuin, kaya lang dalawang water pipes na lang. So, this is an inverse proportion. Ito bumaba, dito dapat ay tumaas kasi mas matatagalan ang pagpuno ng swimming pool. So, hindi na yung 30 minutes, dapat mas mataas pa sa 30 minutes kasi dalawang water pipes na lang ang gagamitin para mapuno ang swimming pool. Okay? So, as one value decreases, the other value increases. Yun ang ibig sabihin ng inverse proportion. So, solution. So, again, the times na natin. Diba? So, 3 times 30 is equal to 2 times n. So, hindi ka na mag-over over the times ka na ha. So, this is now 90 equals 2n. Para mawala yung 2, divide by 2. 90 divided by 2. So, cancel. 45 is equal to n. So, ibig sabihin, okay, it takes 45 minutes para mapuno ang swimming pool kung dalawang water pipes na lang ang gagamitin. So, mas tatagal na ang pagpuno ng swimming pool. Right. The friends Kenneth and Adam have a total of 1 million pesos investment in the ratio of true 3 is to 2. How much did each in invest? So, ibig sabihin, sa investment nilang 1 million, tatlong part ang para kay Kenneth, two parts ang para kay Adam. So, mas marami or mas, mas, mas malaki ang investment ni Kenneth compared kay Adam. So, mas maraming pera no, si Kenneth. So, um, anong klaseng proportion ito? So, since nandito yung total investment nila, so, and then hahatiin into three and two parts, this is a partitive proportion. Okay? So, given natin is 
1 million pesos. This is the total investment nilang dalawa. At the new ratio nila is 3 is to 2. 3 parts for a Kenneth, 2 parts for Adam. Solution. So, unahin natin ang block method. So, add natin yung total number of parts. So, we have 3 plus 2 equals 5. So, ilang blocks ang gagamitin natin. So, we have 5 parts. So, 5 blocks. So, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. At yung total ng blocks na ito ay 1 million. Ba? So, yung 1 million natin, hatiin natin sa 5 blocks. So, that is 1 million divided by 5. And that is equal to 200,000. So, bawat block ay 200 thousand or 200k yan 200k nilagay ko para ah uh, magkasya k means thousand okay parang kilogram means 1000 gram so 200k is just 200,000 so three parts ang kay Kenneth so ayan na yon for Kenneth two parts ang para kay Adam so Kenneth dito ay may investment na 600 pesos 600,000 pesos 400,000 pesos naman for Adam okay now second solution okay kuhanin natin ang value ng one part so find the value of one part and which is n okay and then gagawin natin itong three parts or three n two parts or two n yan and that is equal to one million tandaan ha pag ginawa mo na ito ang um, i-equate na dapat dito sa 1,000. Hindi yun i-equate mo yan as 5N. Hindi. Okay? Ang sagot dito na 5N ay nasa baba. So, 5N is equal to 1 million. 1 million pala. So, para mawala yung 5, divided by 5, divided by 5. So, cancel na ngayon ang 5. And therefore, is equal to 200,000. So, 3N Okay, is equal to 600,000 kasi 3 times 200,000 is 600,000, iba. And then, that is for Kenneth. And then, 2N is 400,000. That is for Adam. So, pareho lang sagot natin dito. Block method man or ito ang gagamitin. Okay? Right, another example. The Reyes family has enough rice to last for six days with just four members. If the family has three members only, so let's say pumunta yung isang member sa probinsya, eh, three members na lang sila, how long will the same rice last? So, uh, anong classing proportion ito? Okay. Uh, kung titignan nyo, Okay, 6 days daw, 4 members mag-last yung kanilang ah, um, kanin, kanin. Kanin ang pinag-usapan dito, diba? So, it, it takes 6 days para maubos ng 4 members. Pero kung 3 members na lang, gaano nakatagal nilang maubos ang kanilang bigas? So, this kind of proportion is inverse. Baligtad. Kasi, ibig sabihin nun, kung tatlo na lang ang kakain, eh di mas tatagal na yung bigas nila, di ba? So, given natin dito is 6 days for just 4 members. And, ano yung mangyari for 6 days sa 4 members na yan? Iko-consume nila ang kanilang rice. So, within 6 days, mauubos nila ang kanilang rice or kanilang bigas. Kaya lang, okay, kung tatlong members na lang, ilang days na yon So, this is N. Kasi hindi natin alam. Three members pero the same rice ang pinag-usapan. So, ang hindi nagbabago dito is the rice. Yun yung ibig sabihin ko kanina na if it's an inverse proportion, merong pangatlong factor na hindi nagbabago. At hindi nagbabago dito ay yung rice. So, solution. So, ito pala. Four members, three members, bumaba siya. So, 6 days dahil taklo na lang ang kakain, mas tatagal na ang kanilang bigas. So, ayun ang tataas.
as yung number of days sa baligtaran. So, since this is an inverse proportion baligtaran, for solution natin, ita times na natin ito. Diba? Diretso na. So, 6 times 4, that is equal to n times 3. So, n times 3. So, this is now 24 equals 3n. And then, para mawala yung 3 divided by 3 divided by 3. Tandaan na kung ginawa sa kanan, gagawin sa kaliwa. And then, cancel. 24 divided by 3, that is 8. So, 8 equals n. Therefore, kakasya yung bigas nila kung tatlo lang kakain ng walong araw. Okay? Right, let's, let's have the next um, problem. We have Natalie wishes to paint her room. If she hires four painters, they will be able to finish painting the room in just a day. If she hires only two painters, how long will they finish will they finish painting the same room? So, ang gagawin dito is pipinturahan ang kanyang room, room ni Natalie. And kung four painters ang gagawa noon, okay, isang araw lang. Kaya lang kung dalawang painters lang ang uh, na hire niya, Okay, gaano katagal na ba pipinturahan ang kanyang room? Sa tingin nyo ba ay isang araw pa rin? Hindi na, ba? So, this kind of problem is an inverse proportion. Baligtad na to. Four painters, isang araw. Kung dalawang painters, edi eh, dadami na yung araw, ba? Kasi hindi nila, ka, hindi nila kakayanin yan ng isang araw. Okay, so given natin dito, four painters... One day, kasi a day. Sabi ng isa, ang nang a day, isang araw. At anong gagawin nila? Painting of the room. Pipinturahan yung kwarto niya. And then, kung two painters lang, N, hindi natin alam yan, di ba? Kaya lang, the same painting of the room ang gagawin nila. So, yung hindi nagbabago dito as is the painting of the room or the job. Okay, so since this is an inverse proportion, multiply na natin to, di ba? Multiply na rin to. So, equate natin. Okay, so again, bababa ito. Ito dapat ay tataas yung number of days. Okay, so we have the solution. 4 times 1 is equal to 2 times n. Okay, tandaan, multiply na natin ha, diretso kasi inverse to eh. So, 4 times 1 is equal to 2 times n, and then 4 is equal to 2n, divided by 2, divided by 2. So, cancel natin yung 2. 2, therefore, is equal to n, or ibig sabihin, kapag dalawang painters, matatapos nila ng dalawang araw. So, bumaba yung number of painters, dadami yung number of days. So, two painters, two days. Right? Identify if the problem is a direct proportion, inverse proportion, or partitive proportion. Solve and find the missing term. And if you're going to solve the problem, pause the video. Okay? Number one, Jerry jogs three kilometers a day. How many kilometers will you jog in a week? Right? Okay, so this is a direct proportion and the answer is 21 kilo kilometers. Next. A class of 40 has a ratio of five girls to three boys. How many are girls? How many are boys? So, this kind of proportion is partitive and there are 25 girls, 15 boys. Next, John has a collection of 135 red, blue, and yellow marbles in the ratio of 2 is to 3 is to 4. How many of each color does he have? Okay, so this is, since nandyan yung total collection, again, this is a partitive proportion. And he has 30 red marbles, 45 
blue marbles and 60 yellow marbles. Next. Two girls can finish cleaning the classroom in 30 minutes. How long will it take five girls to finish cleaning the same classroom? So the same classroom. So this is an inverse proportion. And the answer is 12 minutes. Mas mabilis kasi marami na ang naglilinis. It takes 10 workers to finish a job in 7 days. If the job needs to be done in 2, two days, how many workers are needed? This is an inverse proportion and the answer is 35 workers.